to show you how I get water out of the loofah vines. Could you hold this for me so mm -hmm. they can see? So this is my loofah. It didn't get very big. I didn't plant it uh, soon enough, I think. But I'm going to take it inside anyways. So what you do with a loofah vine is you get a bottle or a jar and you take the vine, once you clip it off, it's got little arms hanging on here. And so what you do is you strip the leaves off and I'm gonna clip, let's see, I'm gonna clip up a little bit further. And what you do is you take this vine and you stick it in a bottle or a jar for like several days up to a week and you stick it in there and all the loofah water will drain into here and the loofah water is good for your skin and so you can uh, keep it in the refrigerator once you get the loofah water um, or you can let it sit on the counter to ferment and then continue to keep using it. So I'm just gonna pull back some of these and we're gonna stick the little, I'm gonna cut that off, see how it looks dry. I'm gonna stick the other end of this vine in here for about a week. And the liquids out of the stems will drain into there. Have a great day. Um, Lufa that I dried out. Check out Lufa online, it's very cool. It kind of looks like a pickle and they usually get bigger. Mine didn't get very big before I had to take them down. These ones are smaller. But anyways, it's like a sponge, but it grows on a vine and you can, um, Eat them when they're really small and tender. Um, also, you can use them as a sponge and soaps and and washing things and all kinds of other stuff. I also, let me see if I can find my Lufa liquid. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, so once you get your, um, take your lupa off the vines, if when you cut the vines, you stick them into like a, a narrow based bottle, the, the vine end, and you get lupa, uh, lupa water is what it's called. And lupa water can be good for your skin. So that's what I collected off a couple of plants. So that's kind of a cool thing. So if you grow some loofah and you only get some little small ones,